How to run a claims return list. A claims return list should be run once a week. The list must then be shelf checked and maintained during that week before the next list is run. In Millennium, go to Create List. Highlight one of your files or an unassigned empty file, then click on to Search Records. Click in the Review File Name to name your file, then choose the record type of item from the drop down menu. Next, we're going to choose Review because we're going to use a, an additional review file to actually access the items on search. Fortunately, at the top, it is in Items on Search, but if we needed to choose an, another review file, we could have searched it using the drop down menu. Next, we need to start entering the criteria for our search. If you double click under Type, we can choose Item, click on OK. Under Field, you can double click here, and we want to choose Location, and click on OK. Under Condition, we're going to use Starts With, and then tap in Your Location's two-digit location code. So here I typed FP for five points. Next, I'm going to add a search criteria, so I'm going to click onto a pinned line. Once again, this is going to be from the item. In the field, we're going to choose status. The condition will be equals to, and the value will be Z for claimed return. Double check to make sure you're looking for the right thing, which location starts with FP and status equals to Z. So that's letting us know that it's status equals to claims returns. So this is going to bring me back all the five points items which are on claims return. I'm going to now hit search to begin the search. It's going to ask me if I want to start searching. I'll tell it yes. It is now complete and the number of records that it found which was 75 is less than 500 which means I have gotten all of the claims return items if this had been over 500 first thing it would have been really bad because we would have had a lot of claims return to, to look for but it, if it was more than 500 it would not have fit in this container so if the 500 equals to 500 here the current records was 500 and the maximum records is 500 I need to find a larger review file redo the search to make sure that I capture all the information. Now that the search has been done, I can sort the records. So I'm going to click on to sort records. Here I'm going to tell it what type of record, which is item, and then the field that I want it to uh, put, which will be location. Then I'm going to append a line and put item and call number, which is C. By doing it this way, it's now going to sort the materials by material type, uh, in this case because of our, the way that we do our location codes, and then by call number. So this is how it should be on the shelf. So I'm going to click on to sort save, and it will sort it. In order to take a look for this on the shelf, I want a printed list, and rather than telling it to print the entire thing, which is going to give me a lot of extra information, we're going to tell it to list records, and we're going to pick and choose what information we want printed out. Under, I, under type, I'm going to put item, and then the first field will be 79, which is location. If you know this information, you can just type it in. After location, we're going to append a line and add the item call number. So that's going to be C for call number. I'm going to append another line. This will be the bibliographic record. And I'm going to get the author, which is A. I'm going to append another line, put bibliographic title and append another line, put item and the barcode information, and then append another line, 
Then let me put the item message field and append another line an item and then the notes field so this is the information we want it to print out it's going to print out the items location the items call number the items author title barcode message and note these are the things that you need to go to the shelf and actually find these items for the claims return list the next thing I always want to do is actually put a blank line in between the records. So where it says zero here, under blank lines between records, I put one. And that actually uh, gets me a little bit of space in between each one of these records. Next I'm going to click on to OK. And it's going to ask me what printer I want to send it to. You can send it to your local printer or you can put it in an internet address and it will actually send it there. So I'm going to choose local printer, but you could choose internet, and then actually print the information off to your individual printer. Once this prints out, you can then go check your shelves, see if you can find the items, and clear them up for the patron.